me one who made a deposit for the six sessions at the studio. I've already used three sessions. Charge it! Charge Yes. Actually, I came to see you to continue the discussion we had in the office this afternoon. Okay. I had it in mind to come and see you after those guys might have left. But you know the MD. He gave me another assignment. Mm -hmm. But you made a statement. You said that my past life did not matter. And you said something too, which actually made me curious. You said, am I sure you are not a mortal? <laughs> you need to explain that to me. Shadi, I thought you ought to have understood all that I said by now. Remember I told you that I had been involved with about 20 men. And out of these 20 men, I had been deeply involved with about 15 of them. Hmm. To be candid, Shadi, I actually lived with nine of them. Hmm. But they all used me and dumped me. I almost poisoned one of them when he pushed me out of his house and sent me his wedding invitation card a week after. Can you imagine that nonsense? But you have not yet murdered him, have you? Ah, sorry, you, my friend Shadi. You are such a religious lady. You are so innocent. That's why you have so much peace. Do you know about evacuation? Evacuation? You mean the literal meaning? No. Slang! Evacuation means removing an unborn child from the womb before it matures. That's a portion, isn't it? <laughs> That's layman's language. We call it evacuation. Does that mean you won't commit an abortion? Not once. Not twice. Several times. You now see why I told you that I had lived a very rough life. And you say all this does not matter? Yes, that is correct. Let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are red as crimson, they shall be like wool. Who said that? The Lord said that to you. Heaven 
is far from the heart. So will I make your sins to be far away from you. Is that also in your Bible? Neither. However terrible your life might have been, there is a provision for you in the Word of God. If you will come to Jesus, ever told me this. They all made me believe that my scattered life could never be gathered together again. <laughs> and I always believe that my sins were too many. <laughs> that is not true. That is not true. In First John chapter one, verse eight to nine. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Do you believe this, Miriam? Mm -hmm. I believe, Shadi. I believe. But can my life really be changed? Can I be new again? Shadi? I have lived a very horrible life. My past life has been very horrible. <laughs> yeah. Jesus now. I start the salvation of the Lord. I start a new life right away. Hmm? Oh God. I want you to change my life. I want you to change my sinful life. I want to start life fresh again. God! <laughs> Neighbor, do you want to accept Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior now? Yes. Please come. Please, I mean, what else? What else? He will change my life. And give me a new life. Then, He can have me. 
praise God for that. They need them before him now. And accept him as a Lord. <laughs> you will now say this after me. Give me your hand. My Lord and my God. My Lord and my God. I come to you today, Lord. I come to you today, Lord, with my sins, with my sins. I believe, I believe that you are my Lord and Savior. That you are my Lord and Savior. I am a sinner, Lord. I am a sinner, Lord. Forgive me all my sins. Forgive me all 